Well, thankfully, if you are tired of the clouds and cold weather, today's going to be the last day we have of this for a little while. We did have a couple light rain showers developing in southern Iowa earlier, generally overcast around the state today. Those clouds have really made it a little bit colder with temperatures only in the 30s, but I promise improvements are on the way. As we track the hour by hour forecast for you this evening, we're going to be dealing with mainly cloudy skies all the way through about midnight. Temperatures still hovering in the low end of the 30s, so yes, it will be chilly. We fall into the 20s after midnight as those clouds do clear out. Here's how it plays out on future tracker. Still generally cloudy around 6 o'clock. We start to see those thin out though. By 10 p.m. we should have partly cloudy skies. Same thing around midnight. Most of the cloud deck will be off to the east. Just some lingering cloud cover rolling into early Friday morning. So we will start the day off with a few clouds, but then sunshine is expected for most of the day on Friday. Don't forget the Geminid meteor shower is happening. It peaks early tomorrow morning. Tonight's going to be one of the better nights to see that. The peak is about six o'clock Friday morning and we should have again clearing skies. Temperatures in the 20s So throw on a jacket. Set your alarm early if you want to see those. Again, it will be going on for the next several nights, but early tomorrow will be the best opportunity to see that. And then beyond that, we're looking at sunshine, dry, mild weather. A lot of really nice days headed our way. We're going to hit 45 tomorrow, close to 50 by Saturday. In fact, it very well could hit 50, 45 by Sunday. And then notice we stay in the 40s and 50s all the way through the middle of next week. This is going to help start a really big above average temperature trend. Today will be right about average as temperatures have been in the upper range of the 30s. It's very close to where we should be, but we're going to start to see more above average days on our calendar. Now I did forecast some 50s. How often does that happen in December? Last year we had seven days at or above 50 degrees, so quite a few. In 2016 it was only two days. In 2015 we had about 10, and in 2014 we had just five days. Now I'm only forecasting 50 one full day, but possibly we could hit it twice. So just because we have that doesn't mean we're going to see a 10 day stretch of 50 degree temperatures by any means, but still something that'll be interesting to see how it plays out on that list when December wraps up. Tonight will be cold as those clouds clear out down to 23 degrees. Tomorrow, full sunshine. We start off with a few clouds in the morning, but they break very quickly. 45, the forecast high in the metro. As we go into the weekend, lots of sunshine Saturday. Great weather for the High V Classic if you'll be out and about downtown. 49 degrees. 45 for Sunday. We stay in the low 40s for Monday and then back up to near 50 on Wednesday, and it looks like like we will stay dry all the way through Christmas. Right now, the chances of a white Christmas are very low.